Technology has connected us in ways like never before. With a mobile device, we can talk, text, email, and share photos and videos with friends and family, whether they're in the same room with us or half the world away. Technology has also impacted our personal finances, from the way we shop to the way we bank. Perhaps no industry is indicative of technology's influence on society than cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is a term uh, that's being used more and more. Uh, you can think of it as the modern internet money or digital money, right? The interesting thing about cryptocurrency is it actually is a mean to transact value from one person to another without needing a middle trusted party. So it's more efficient, it can be faster, more robust, and it isn't dependent on any institution or centralized authority. While cryptocurrency has been in existence since 2009, it made its history and news in 2017 when the digital currency's value soared 1,400%. That's when investors of all types started to take notice that cryptocurrency is a viable alternative to traditional banking. I think cryptocurrency has become attractive to consumers because now they're in a world where they can control their own money. Uh, we can directly communicate with merchants uh, to get the products we want uh, without these middlemen taking fees in the middle. I think it's also a, a speculative game where people are able to invest and speculate in currencies as well. Despite cryptocurrency's rapid growth, for many it remains a mystery. That is where digital currencies like PIVX are changing the game. PIVX became the first cryptocurrency to translate its website and materials to over 30 native languages, providing unparalleled access and information to this digital financial asset. Just as important as education and ease of access is security and privacy. At PIVX, they place an emphasis on both because it believes privacy is a basic human right. I think education, privacy, and security are paramount with any crypto project. We absolutely need these. And at PIVX, we have amazing information channels, videos, uh, dev team in Discord able to chat. We have a fully developed support team to build this stuff. Now, we have a, a, a great security team working full-time on the project. And I think that all crypto projects need these things to, to integrate into their project because then people feel safe and, and it's a good investment space. Unlike its predecessors, including Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dash, PIVX functions on a proof-of-stake algorithm that is less reliant on resources, making it eco-friendly. This approach also rewards all participants, as opposed to placing power in the hands of a select few that other digital currencies embrace. Proof-of-stake is a term used to describe a consensus algorithm in the blockchain sector. You typically hear proof-of-work. The other big one is proof-of-stake, and it's a way to validate the entire blockchain as being legitimate. Um, one of the big advantages to proof-of-stake is that it's way more environmentally friendly. So take PIVX, for example. You can run the entire PIVX network using one wind turbine or about 20 solar panel installations, so that's the entire power needed to run our global entire network. Bitcoin, it takes about the power from one nuclear power plant. So for a long-term scalable, proof of stake is the way to go. The PIVX community is one that encompasses the entire globe, which makes sense considering that two-thirds of the world is either unbanked or underbanked. That is why cryptocurrency is being adopted on every continent, from South America to Africa to North America to Asia. Everywhere, people are discovering the power and freedom of being their own bank. Cryptocurrencies are already changing the world uh, and they're already beginning to make a difference in the underserved populations. Um, we can think about the traditional financial sectors where there's places that didn't have banking infrastructure now able to have accounts. They can send and receive finances uh, and they're leapfrogging over the, the legacy systems that many of us experience but it, it extends beyond the financial market. There's implications already being made in medical records, in land, in deeds, in trusts, and, and legal as well. So it basically hits every sector of life that we currently experience. When it comes to cryptocurrency, the future is as limitless as the technology that has made it possible. Understanding the future of this financial sector is the first step to realizing the potential it offers to all of us as individuals and as a society. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, they're already changing the way we do business. They're already changing the landscape of life. We might not see the direct effects, 
but many of the processes that were put in place with the invention of the internet and then modern banking are being transferred into a blockchain cryptocurrency based ecosystem. So we're going to experience those. They might not be drastic changes, but a lot of what we're used to feeling will be running on a blockchain soon.